We good to go? All right. Well, thanks, everybody. I'm glad you all came back from lunch early to come to our session. And some of you have heard, some of you haven't. We have had a slight change of agenda, so we uh, have both Yammer and uh, Engine Yard here with us today to talk about their programs for gamifying business. I think they're both very interesting speakers, and also um, the topics will be relevant to each other. So hopefully this will be relevant to you here. Um, my name is Adina DeMonte. I'm the director of marketing at Badgeville. And if you haven't heard already, we're the leader in gamification. We have over 175 customers and in virtually every industry. So we are happy to talk to you about any gamification questions that you have. Um, if you haven't noticed, I'm sure you have. We have a booth out there. So please do stop by. We're here to the end of the day. Um, but I did want to introduce our speakers today. We have um, Greg Love from Yammer. Is that correct? Yes, hello. He will be coming up. And he is the um, manager of business uh, development, and then we also have William uh, Platt from Engine Yard, who will be joining us, who's VP of Operations. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to turn this over to Greg, and he's going to talk about our partnership with Yammer and some things we've been doing with Deloitte. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you guys? Oh, yep, there we go. All right. I uh, appreciate the introduction. Uh, as you mentioned, my name is Greg Love. I'm the uh, Business Development Manager at Yammer. And today I'll be talking about not only a bit about our partnership, uh, but also some work that uh, Deloitte has done, uh, which is a mutual customer of both Yammer and Badgeville. Great. Um, so real quick, when you think of gamification and how it's relevant to uh, enterprise social networking, uh, for me personally, the one area that's going to be uh, most relevant uh, to think about is uh, user engagement. So what can we do? Uh, at the, uh, at the end user level to continually increase how engaged they are within Yammer. Uh, if you're a true enterprise social network, um, that is going to be one of the key metrics that you always look at um, in order to see how successful you are actually being out there in the marketplace. Um, so to do that, we partnered with Badgeville, and we did it uh, for two reasons. Uh, number one, we felt uh, Badgeville was uh, the best in breed. And the second piece is we really uh, looked at how complementary uh, our two products were. Um, so if you think of Badgeville, you look at a reward, a behavior system that sits across all a uh, enterprises or, uh, industry or uh, companies' um, uh, technology suite. Um, well, Yammer, uh, we are a private and secure social network that does the exact same thing. We sit across um, all different systems of record and provide the uh, social layer um, for a company. So to be able to um, really look at how we uh, both sat from a strategy and a, a layer, uh, our being a layer of uh, a social networking layer and Badgeville being a, a behavior layer, uh, we felt there was going to be a lot of similarities and a lot of uh, uh, synergies that we could uh, uh, realize there. So let's take a look at how that actually looks on the back end. Um, so with Badgeville, we have the, be uh, the behavior platform uh, that, again, that builds and rewards uh, and, and drives certain behavior throughout an, an, or an organization. So whether that is going to be uh, across your, uh, an organization's system of record, uh, so we look at data management systems, CRM, ERP, uh, human resource tools. Uh, well, the same could be said as the, at the Yammer platform. So again, we are able to hook in to all technologies and all applications throughout a, uh, an organization's uh, technology suite and technology landscape to provide that social element. Um, and it plays really nicely. So any time that an uh, organization has set up Badge, uh, Badgeville in order to a reward and drive certain behavior in these different silos, um, in these different systems of record, uh, that information gets pushed back into Badgeville where a badge is actually created. Um, and then as soon as a user um, enables and, and, and uh, uh, engages with that badge, it gets populated into their Yammer network where the entire company is present. So it, it adds a significant layer of visibility throughout the entire organization for the reward, the badge, the, the, dri uh, the, the user driven action uh, that Badgeville was, was created and desired for uh, within Yammer. And so let's take a look at exactly how the, uh, the integration looks. Um, so again, whenever a badge is unlocked within Badgeville, um, it gets pushed into Yammer, and it shows up in, in a series and in a, a few different areas uh, that are visible, again, to the entire company. 
So that's one of the real uh, areas that's a, a benef uh, beneficial to Badgeville, is that any time a badge is unlocked, it provides that visibility to not only that end employee um, uh, and the, to the entire network, but also uh, drives their peer um, uh, mentality of wanting to do the same thing and, and again, provides that gaming layer associated with it. Um, so very similar to what you may see in Facebook when any time uh, any one of the, uh, your friends does a, uh, an action in a different application or a different technology, that information will be populated into a specific ticker. We have something very similar in Yammer uh, that's called the activity stream, and this is where all of your business data will occur. So anytime anyone unlocks a badge and views that badge, that'll be populated into Yammer for the entire company to see. Folks can comment on it. Uh, like it, reply, um, and, and again, just congratulate uh, that person who has received that recognition. Um, when we look at what drives engagement in enterprise social networking, there are very few things that drive more engagement than that of peer recognition, uh, especially when that comes from management. Um, so again, that's one of the main reasons why we thought it was so compelling uh, to bring gamification uh, with our partnership uh, with Badville. Um, so a theoretical example here, um, you have a support application, for example, maybe a Zendesk. Um, the behavior uh, uh, that is going to be rewarded is if somebody can uh, uh, close 10 support tickets in a day. Um, that user uh, does that, it gets published into the Yammer network, provides, again, visibility throughout the entire network of what that support uh, person has done, where folks can engage, and, uh, and it provides that motivation to their peers to do, uh, do something similar. Uh, so some, uh, some key benefits. Um, again, it, it drives that, those key behaviors, uh, providing visibility to the entire organization of what is being done. Uh, our entire goal at Yammer is to provide one area which the entire company is going to be communicating in uh, and connecting with uh, all the employees and around business data. And we want to unlock all of the things that are occurring within an organization. And Badgeville and the badges provided um, by the behavior platform really enable that area. Um, again, you have vis visibility into achievements and awards, and it just moves the needle on uh, business processes. So that's a theoretic example, uh, theoretical example, but let's take a, a look at a, an actual example. So Deloitte um, and Deloitte Global uh, is one of our biggest customers. Uh, they have an internal Yammer network for every Deloitte employee across the globe, and then they have specific uh, networks or external networks uh, for member uh, uh, units uh, across individual com companies, or excuse me, countries. Uh, but they have one network that encompasses the entire company. Um, and one of the areas that they knew that they really wanted to improve on their own is they have roughly 182,000 consultants on the road um, out there communicating but there was, uh, with individual clients, but they weren't sharing that information internally. Um, so Deloitte uh, does some really creative things. And one of the areas that they were utilizing, uh, or were able to create utilizing our open APIs is something called the who, what, and where app. And this is something where a consultant um, utilizing their mobile device uh, can check in at any area, uh, again, the, the what um, and the, uh, excuse me, the who, the what, and the where uh, of, of what they're doing, who they're with, um, and, and where they are. And this provides, uh, again, visibility into the area. So they have a, a great example here where a certain consultant has been um, checking in at beverage companies. And so the amount of visibility that that will provide to the entire network for other folks, other consultants who have insight into either that particular company that they're at or that industry and allows them to chime in uh, was a big driver for them. So they incentivize these folks to, um, to check in utilizing their Who, What, and Where app and utilizing Badgeville um, to post into Yammer every time that a, a certain consultant uh, was to check in a, a certain number of times. And so what they saw is just an overall increase uh, engagement, uh, not only in Yammer, but in a specific social uh, uh, internet that they had that they integrated Yammer to. Um, again, the rewards uh, drive through additional high value behavior. So they were able to find and locate specific expertise and specific folks who were doing some really high uh, value efforts throughout the uh, organization and uh, you know, identify rising stars um, and continue to, to look to mold and, and bring them up at, at uh, higher levels within the organization. Uh, so that's it with Yammer. I think I'll be back up here for questions, um, but I'll turn it over back to Adana. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. I'm going to have Bill up here in just one second, but um, hope you enjoyed the, the case study and the information. How many of you saw Kevin Aykroyd uh, talk yesterday? Okay, so about a handful of you. 
So as far as how Badgel works, and the, the um, Yammer example touches on this quite a bit, but if you take away one piece with you around what Yammer, uh, what Badgeville means and what we do, it's really about surfacing behavior across all of your experiences. So as, um, as Greg was saying, the uh, Yammer example surfaces all of these programs that are happening, whether it be the Deloitte mobile application or something happening in a CRM system, and our platform makes that possible. Now I think the next example where we're looking at a support community, totally different type of experience, still um, internal, still an employee-facing program, um, driving the engagement in that Zendesk community. So I'm going to turn it over to Bill Platt from Engineer Art to discuss about how they're working with Badgeville. Thanks. Thank you. So um, based on what you heard and you know about Yammer and you know about social networking, um, at Engine Yard, we believe we're living in an era that is driven and owned by users. And if you even question that, you can just think about how Apple actually took over the end user business of computing. They focused completely on users and making those users have a great experience. And in so doing, they've actually captured many markets, more markets than they even intended to. And so we really believe that. And so our users at Engine Yard what Engine Yard does is we make a platform as a service, and other companies run their businesses on our platform. And that means that our users are under tremendous pressure. I'm talking about real-time pressure. They have to have uptime. They have to deliver their applications to their users. And because of that, our users started talking to us. And we talked to our customers a lot, and our users were saying to us, you know what problem we have when we work with you? We need to find the things that we need. We need the answers to things very quickly. We need to make sure that we're not wasting time waiting on you for answers to questions that we should be able to find. We need to help each other. We're users who know that there's another guy in the world who does exactly what I do, and I'd really love to learn from him. And because those users spoke so loudly, and a very specific example of that speaking loudly, because I have to, open disclosure, Badgeville is actually one of my customers. Okay, and if any of you know Jimmy or Wedge from Badgeville, so they came to my office one day and they said, we're your user. And you know what I hate? I hate that I have to wait like a day just to get the answer to something that I think you already have someplace stored up in your knowledge base or in your answers to some other customer. And so I said, I think you're right. I think that <laughs> we need to fix that. And so we started looking at what is the behavior that happens on our website? What actually happens and how often do people find what they're looking for? How often do they get where they want to go? And we had an earlier support example which is sort of an internal based one. Ours is actually external. So what we did was we, we took the Badgeville gamification platform, we connected it up with our Zendesk customer service platform and we exposed the whole thing externally. So our end customers are actually both giving us feedback, and by the way, we measure every transaction with our customers. They're giving us feedback, and they're also utilizing now the Badgeville beha behavior recognition and behavior gamification platform to help us be certain what they want, and they also get to get recognized for what they learn and how fast they are at what they do. So it's really simple, a lot of our folks that are our customers, they're very technical end users. They may have non-technical end users, but they're very technical. And at the end of the day, developers are lazy, okay? They're just lazy. And so anything that shortens the time for them to get whatever it is they want done, they love. And um, you know, you can see here, here's a picture of our showcase, right? And you know, Believe it or not, all of those things, we were talking about you know, how complete you want to cover the, the, the activities on your, all of those things represent things that we want people to do because there's so many different types of users when you're, when you're in a community. And there, there's a lot of benefit to people who just tell each other what is good by using the like button. That actually is really useful data. And there's a lot of benefit to people who actually create topics, but there are very few people who do that. So you, we looked at how do we re recognize and reward folks who want to do these things. 
And so we built out this suite of things that, that we know people tend to do when they come to a community website or when they come to look for technical answers. And we started recognizing them. And if you want to know about the speed thing, the, the, here's, here's a piece of data that, that we've gathered. Over the first two months that we started using the gamification integration with Zendesk and then put that all in front of our customers, the percentage of time that a user found what they were looking for within one minute went up 240%. 240% improvement in somebody finding what they were looking for within one minute of coming in and starting to search. That is exactly what we were looking for. Because that's exactly what Jimmy needs. So Jimmy needs to just get to the information he needs, get his problems fixed, find the answers, and or contribute to the answers. And that's what we've been able to do so far with our... And so inside those activities, inside the, oh, I, I want to like something, or, or hey, I have something to contribute, we've created some missions, right? And as you go through those things, you can earn additional badges. So you go from being a student to being a scholar, right? If you like to find bugs, you can, you can go from being a lightning bug to being a fly swatter, right? And you know, you think, oh, those sound like silly terms. They actually really matter. <laughs> Spend a, it's worth spending the time in the process that badgeful people take you through. It's worth spending the time to, to figure out how do you want to say these things and what, how do you want to represent your company. And so finally, you know, we, we have uh, on the notification side, we have this, this uh, wonderful lady named, I wish she was here. Her name is Jamie Bleachner, and anybody who's ever worked with us as a company probably knows this lady's name because she's the one who put all this together, and she's the one who, who deserves all the credit that I'm up here taking right now. But at the end of the day, the, the uh, activity, you keep this loop going, and you keep yourself in front of your customers as well, and that b binds the user to your company. And that's an, a, a very serious need for every company. So I know we're going to run out of time here. I wanted to stop here and just say thank you both to the Badgeville people, but also to you guys in the audience. I can tell you this stuff works. Our metrics are going through the roof, and our users are using our website faster, getting what they want more, and their customer satisfaction has gone up in the, two, the first two months since we did this. Thank you. Time. Oops, is this working? Hello? We have time for some questions, so I'm going to invite um, both of our speakers back up, and please do feel free to ask questions. I have a couple I can throw out if no one has them, but I want to make sure that you all have a chance to ask both uh, Yammer and uh, Engine Yard about their program. Any questions? All right, so I'm going to throw out a question really quick, um, and you guys, you have the mic over here. So I'm curious, you have very different programs and you work with different user bases and obviously you're seeing results, you're seeing results, but as far as selling this internally to either your own um, audience, your own fellow um, employees, or externally to customers, how has that been going and what do you think um, is a key a piece of advice that you can give to the audience here? Uh, the one thing I would give a key piece of advice which is right along the reasons why I gave you that we did it. I would say if you have internal resistance, let actual users talk to your internal folks. Whoever's really the users, let them speak to the people that have the resistance because at the end of the day, the users are going to tell you the truth and the truth is this actually works. Uh, Yammer was a pretty easy sell for us uh, because we obviously use our product uh, at a very high level internally uh, Yammer, as a Yammer as a company. Uh, so we were able to know that any time a certain employee is praised, uh, just utilizing our, our own uh, application, that the amount of feedback and the amount of engagement uh, skyrocketed. So for us to actually have a more formal badge and that tied into our existing systems uh, was a very easy sell. So in terms of the future of the industry, um, and I'm just going to have one more question here, and uh, in terms of the future of the industry, since you both have very different perspectives, what do you see the next five years for gamification and related uh, technologies being in your respective industries? Uh, yeah, sure. For enterprise social networking, I think it's going to become quite evident um, how important it is uh, to not only drive uh, user behavior, but also drive engagement, which again, I think is key. Uh, if not the key metric within enterprise social networking that should be measured. Um, so very similar to enterprise social networking taking a while to get a 
the respect it deserved in enterprises, I think gamification will go down that same path. And in a year or two, we won't even have the conversation around if this is just a fad or something. It'll be something that's solidified at, throughout all enterprises. I also think the inevitable integration of technologies from the smaller companies into bigger companies over time, and then as bigger companies put more and more stuff in the cloud, we're going to see is that the early adopters, stuff is buried inside what's happening out there. And so to his point, you might not know that's what happened, but when the gamification platform is already in something that another larger company deploys, because that's what happens from our platform, it's there. And I think that's what's going to happen in the next three years. Great. Well, anybody have any other questions? Oh, we got one question here. So let's, uh, I think there's a, a So the question was, what's the keep this from being a bright, shiny object where the impact fades in six to 12 months? Uh, my answer to that is, um, what we're doing with it anyway, it's highly data-driven. It's not, oh, I have a fad, I want to put a badge in front of somebody. What we do is based on what the data tells us is actually happening. And that kind of large data stuff, I don't think is a fad. I think it's actually, it's creating whole new opportunities. That's why I think it'll keep going. The form of it might change from this shiny object to another shiny object, but the underlying point is a very large data uh, issue that couldn't be solved that long ago, but is now in high demand. I don't have an incredible amount to add with that. I'd say that the overall, uh, how you map that data uh, may change and will change from organization to organization, uh, but the impact of, of that reward or that recognition is going to hold true. So again, whether it's a one shiny object to another is that recognition that it, that it provides. All right, thanks for that question. It's a really good question. We're going to wrap up, but please do feel free to stop by the Badgeville booth, and we'll be happy to talk to you more. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, that was great. Badgeville also won one of the uh, first G Summit awards last night, so stop by and ask them about that as well. Thanks a lot, guys.